Hi guys, today we are going to see how the regulator of a hydraulic pump functions. There is hardly any video in the internet about how the hydraulic pump regulator functions. So, I decided to push it myself. The hydraulic pump regulator is a complicated mechanical linkage, so it is difficult to understand. So, you may have to watch it over and over again to get a good idea about it. In the near future, I will be posting a CAD model, so it will be easier for you to understand. So, please subscribe to my channel and keep looking for it. Thank you. Here you can see the internal components of the hydraulic pump regulator. This is the servo piston and uh, this is the feedback lever. We have spools. Spools have outer sleeve to it. Uh, the objective of this internal components linkage is to move the servo piston back and forth so as to change the slash plate angle uh, by changing the pump flow. When the pump starts and creates flow and pressure, Servo hydraulic pressure is applied to the spool A, that by pushing the spool to the right, the groove in the spool pushes the pin of the tilt lever, thereby moving the tilt lever in an anti-clockwise direction. This tilt lever pivots around the top in A and pulls pin B of the feedback lever to the right. The movement of the pin B causes the feedback lever to pivot around the pin D thereby tilting it in a clockwise direction. As the feedback lever is connected to the main spool, the main spool moves to the right. The spool moves in relation to the outer sleeve. The oil passages in the spool and sleeve are machined in such a way that the movement of the spool to the right connects port A to port B. Oil from port B flows to the large end of the servo piston and pushes it to the right, thereby tilting the slash plate and changing the slash angle. The increase or decrease in slash angle regulates the outflow respectively. Once the servo piston is moved to the right, feedback lever connected to it is pivoted around the pin B, moving the main spool to the left. So this feedback lever is connected to this pin. For the illustration purpose, it has been separated, but in the actual feedback lever, is connected to this pin. The movement of the feedback lever in an anti-clockwise direction pushes the main spool to the left. The main spool slides inside the outer sleeve, closing the connection between port A and port B, stopping further oil flow to the larger end of the servo piston. Now the oil gets trapped inside the chamber of the servo piston, thereby maintaining the slash plate position rigidly. The small end of the servo piston has oil pressure applied to it at all times. So what controls the movement of the servo piston here? The movement of the servo piston is controlled by the application of the hydraulic oil pressure to the larger end. So to sum up, applying pressure to the spool A creates a series of chain of movements like a domino effect that ultimately results in moving the servo piston to the right, thereby decreasing the slash angle and thereby reducing the flow.